In this video, I'm going to talk more about the throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra. I think it's important in our society because we are so repressed in the sacral chakra, our sexual and creative chakra, uh, the opposite end of that really gets affected also. So when we're trying to heal chakras, let's say you have an overstimulated sacral or sexual chakra, and that's a color orange. So our body is a prism. It reflects the colors of the rainbow as the light of life shines through us. Uh, we express dependent on the state of our chakras, our different color sections, uh, parts of our spectrum. The general idea when it comes to healing chakras is if you are too overstimulated in your sacral chakra, you'll want to stimulate the opposite end uh, in order to relax the sacral chakra. Finding the opposite chakra is dictated by the color spectrum and it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, or violet, uh, the Roy G. Biv. So our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. This is our root. Our yellow is our solar plexus activation, and blue is our expression, our throat chakra. So it's foundation, activation, and expression. Our secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. That's our creativity, our love center, and then our intelligence, thoughtfulness, mindfulness. The chakras line up the body like a rainbow starting at the root, our base at the perineum is red, and then into our sacral chakra around the, the sexual organs is orange. Around our navel is our solar plexus and that's yellow. Moving up to the heart is green, into the throat chakra is blue, up into purple in the third eye, and then violet into white or gold at the crown chakra. So if I'm having an overstimulated sexual or sacral chakra, which is orange, I need to go to the opposite. So I need to the color that is missing. Is orange is a secondary color made up of yellow and red, and out of the primary colors, that leaves blue. So blue is the opposite of orange because there is no blue in orange. So an overstimulated sexual or sacral chakra will lead to a repressed and recessive throat chakra. Maybe as a child you were taught to be seen and not heard, or swallow your feelings or don't say certain things and and keep it down and be quiet. These um, kind of habits we form as a child, these patterns kind of grow into adulthood. This can lead to shyness in children and into adulthood, um, social shyness. Shy means to be scared, think of a, a, a stray cat. <laughs> and sometimes they lash out with their, with their throat chakra. So I'm gonna teach you a few breaths that are, are great for releasing the throat chakra gently. There are plenty of yoga exercises that you can look up in releasing the throat chakra. I think yoga is great for releasing and, and balancing out all the chakras because it is a whole body practice. It's a holistic practice. These larger muscles of our body have a, a big effect on the smaller areas of like the throat chakra or the third eye chakra. So working out the tensions in the larger muscles help us to release the tensions that are being held in place by them in the smaller muscles. Something I've noticed in dating and in my research of men is that guys are taught early, especially during masturbation, um, to be secretive, to have to hide and stay quiet, hold their breath. I notice a lot of guys hold their breath during sex or it's interesting, some guys will release very feminine sounds, and I don't know if that's just because they're congested into the higher chakras and it's releasing like a higher sound, or they're imitating feminine sounds from porn or they're feminine lovers. What we really want to do is get the sound coming from the body, allowing the sound to move and usher these tensions out of the body. When we hold it in, it just compiles, creates kind of a vice, a cage around our throat. Um, and we're not able to say what we want, express how we want to clearly. With a repressed and recessive throat chakra, we might tell little white lies, think about excuses you might make to get out of something just because you feel overwhelmed in the body and it comes out, it expresses in a, in a distorted way. We're taught kind of polite conversation, things like this are even uh, signs of, of repressed throat chakra when you're not speaking below the surface, you know, only being very superficial with our words and cliches and buzzwords and all those, those types of things. 
Another way our throat chakra has been repressed in our culture is our mass of acceptance of alcohol and alcohol use. Uh, the, the element of the throat is ether, the throat chakra. Um, alcohol is ethanol, which is uh, kind of the opposite of ether. It dries everything out. Think about rubbing alcohol on your skin. So all of these, these neurological pathways running from the right off of the spine and into the brain, alcohol tends to dry this out. It creates a fritzy, kind of glitchy path, um, path of energy. It's not fluid and flowing and connected. It's very broken up and glitchy and we can't kind of connect back to ourselves. The longer we pickle ourselves with this substance, the more kind of fried out and dried out the body gets. Our bodies have a natural design of intelligence within them. When we're repressing, say we're repressing our throat chakra, not saying what we need to say and expressing our feelings and ideas and dreams, our body will crave the things that we know will help release our inhibitions and allow us to release that area. So sometimes you're craving alcohol, this is a sign of a repressed throat chakra, that your body is craving the things that it knows will help it release. That's sometimes why we say things we don't want to when we're drinking, um, can seem to be way too in, in, uninhibited. So clearing and integrating these pathways through sound and vibration is a very natural and gentle way to open up this throat chakra area. Throat chakra isn't something you want to burst open. It can <laughs> pull out, uh, you can start saying things that you didn't even know you were hiding from expression that you were holding in, that you didn't even know you thought. They'll just come pouring out. So we want to approach this in a gentle way. The sound is great for providing a texture for tension to move out of the body through the breath. Our bodies are vascular pressure systems of fluid. If you think about the iPhones and or the apps you can get for your phone that if you get water on them, you can play the sound that will vibrate the water out of the phone. It's kind of the same idea when it comes to sound and ushering micro tension out of the body. We use things like the gong, or, but we can also use the sound from our body and breath. In yoga, there's a breath called Ujjayi breath, can sometimes be called ocean breath or Darth Vader breath. The Ujjayi breath is created by constricting the back of the throat and you'll create kind of an ocean sound or Darth Vader breath. It sounds kind of like this. It creates a stronger and a deeper exhale to move tension out of the body. I find it helps disperse the heat of the body a lot better, so I would recommend using that breath when working out, climbing a large flight of stairs, things like this, maybe moving during a moving day. So we're gonna take the Ujjayi breath and just add a little strength to it. And this is what I call maybe like a panther breath or a tiger breath. And you'll use this during sex. It's trying to bring sound back through your body. I've noticed a lot of times guys during dirty talk will stick to kind of very cliche things. It doesn't come naturally to them. They come out kind of awkward. And also this is where real intimacy is. True intimacy comes from being able to express yourself as you are, not having to be something that you're not. So if you're not in that space, you're not ready for great sex yet. So trying to find our natural expressions and allow them to come through and feeling comfortable and safe enough to allow them to release so we can get rid of that layer of tension so that things can flow more easily from the heart through the throat chakra. The hesitations we experience during sex when it comes to dirty talk or expressing ourselves are the same type of hesitations we might have when singing um, and expressing our emotions. So these things are tied and it's not always just a sexual basis for all of these problems. So we really need to look at ourselves holistically and learning to release areas of congestion. So this breath you'll use during sex or during masturbation to move that energy through the body and express through fully through your system. It might feel silly to use it at first, but even after just a couple of rounds, you're gonna feel it start to grab the energy from your body and pull that through. And the sensations that creates is going to help you just naturally allow this to start moving through your body. So it'll be a deep inhale, kind of a grunt. It might start like that, just kind of in the back of the throat. Just allow it to be natural and start to grow on its own. And so from there, it might go into a 
<sighs> really gets into an animalistic primal type of breathing. We're just trying to use that vibration to move the energy through the body. A simple technique you can practice anywhere that no one will even notice is what I call the O breath. So you'll inhale and then as you exhale, just imagine yourself saying O. Oh. You don't have to even physically say it, you can say it if you wanna help practice what the muscles feel like when they create the sound. But then just visualizing that you're saying O oh or OM as you breathe out. So inhaling through the nose and as you exhale, just imagine making an O oh sound. This helps to relax the neck muscles, release all of this hesitance in our voice, in our speaking, uh, learning to reverse those patterns we've created of, of bracing and, and restricting ourselves and being careful of what we say. I think it's important to be compassionate and considerate for others, but also being able to express ourselves. So part of the throat chakra is if we say something that's hurtful to be able to communicate and, and own up and become accountable for our words. I would encourage you to look up some yoga practices also to help you release the throat chakra. Uh, being able to release and relax our sacral chakra by bringing attention to its opposite end is going to be able to allow us to let the energy move more fully through the body. As the energy moves more fully through the body, we get greater sensation, greater clarity and awareness. Mantra is also a great practice for releasing the throat chakra if you'd like to look up some mantras online. Um, but I think all music is a mantra. Anything we say to ourselves is a mantra. So being aware of, of the words and the thoughts within our mind uh, that we tell ourselves often become a practice. So being alert and of what truths and untruths we're telling ourselves and we're buying into. Hope you found all of this information helpful and message me if you have any questions.